So today I'm out in a completely new place for me. I've never been here before, so I think today's gonna be more just kind of walking around, checking things out, and uh, if I get a photo, then that's great, uh, but we'll see. But I, uh, I just kind of want to hike and figure stuff out. It's a little bit late in the morning, the sun's already up, so we'll see if I can get a shot and see what the landscape is like. So yeah, I'm just gonna have an adventure and uh, we'll see if we can get some kind of photography done. So the leaves are just starting to change color. So today's a great day to just get out, have a little bit of a hike and see if there's any shots that I can get maybe in the future. Like I said before, it's just so nice to just get out and go for a hike early in the morning. Absolutely love it. Uh, the mosquitoes are kind of bad, but it was uh, it's been cold most of the month of September here So it's warming up now this week. Uh, I think it's gonna get up to 25 degrees today. So ah, It's just nice to get out and get some fresh air and get some exercise. I think I'm just gonna keep walking around I'll do the whole loop here and then uh, see where I'll go from there. So I actually did end up finding a shot, uh, even though, you know, it's late in the morning and I was just out to scout. Um, I came upon this little river and I've actually been here probably for about a half an hour just uh, taking some video clips, uh, you know, doing some audio and just kind of sitting here relaxing and enjoying, just enjoying the scene. So I thought that I would take a shot. It doesn't really matter where the sun is uh, because I'm just taking a shot of the rocks as you can see. So I've already done one shot at 1 1 60th um, to kind of freeze the action of the water and now I'm going to put a neutral density filter on and uh, slow down my shutter speed and do a long exposure. So I'll show you those shots right now. So while I was looking at the shot that I was taking of the rocks and the leaves and the water, um, what looked like an eagle, I don't know my birds, I'm sorry. Anyways, a really big ass bird just like flew along the water, kind of like, it wasn't in my shot, but it was almost in my shot, um, and then landed on a tree. So I'm getting video of it up in the tree right now, but here, I'll show you. Part in my audio here, you can just see his head moving around there, and I have that on my camera here. I'm still filming, and I'm waiting for him, or her, I don't know anything about birds apparently. I'm waiting for her to move again. Yeah, as I was looking through my shots of the rocks here, um, it flew along the water and then up into a tree. So yeah, pretty cool little experience. I was shooting rocks and ended up getting to see a bald eagle. So yeah, pretty nice day. <laughs> Okay, so I'm back in the same location. It's two days later. I think the scout went really well the other day. Um, I found two shots that I wanted to get and I've had some time to reflect on the image that I took the other day. And yes, it was a scouting mission and I think that the image did a really good job to show 
the difference in the reflection of when you have a filter on versus when you don't have a filter on at all. But I just don't think it was a good shot. I looked at the shot and I was like, meh. So uh, because I scouted, I know exactly today where I need to go for the sunrise. So here I am again. I'm all set up, ready to go, and I'm just waiting for the light to come over those trees over there uh, so that it can light that red tree in the background for me. When I got here, it was pitch black. So I got all set up in the dark. Uh, it's obviously lit. I wanted to get this shot first. One, because it was so dark. Uh, I didn't want to walk down the trails with all my equipment and everything in the pitch black. And two, because when the sun does eventually rise, it's going to light this red tree really, really nicely. So I'm looking forward to that. I've got that tree in the background there that's just starting to turn. Uh, fence post, um, some weeds here in the front. And I think it's just going to be a really pretty shot once the sun comes up. And that's going to be in about 10 minutes or so. So that sunrise, unfortunately I didn't get the shot that I wanted. The sun is actually trapped behind some clouds, but that's totally fine. I'm just happy to be here, you know, I'm happy to be out at sunrise for another day, just do some photography. So I'm going to go to my second location now and uh, see if I can get the shot that I was looking for there. And it actually is, I think it's going to work out that it's a little bit cloudy for my second shot. Uh, because when I was there the other day, uh, it was really bright and this well the sun was already up So it was really bright and there was a big difference between light and dark. So uh, I think it was just going to be a really harsh photo So today the lights actually really quite soft and nice So I think I'm going to be able to get that second shot that I wanted to get So I'm going to hike down the trail a little bit and set up for my next shot So here's something cool. I actually did already see the bald eagle, but he flew over the parking lot and then up the road. So he wasn't over the water yet. But with my long lens, because I have a long lens today, hopefully he flies over the water again. You know, probably because I have my lens and I'm ready to go. It's not gonna happen. So I'm not getting my hopes up, but uh, it's such a nice bird and its wingspan is so wide. Like it is such a huge bird. So hopefully, hopefully I see it again, we'll see. Because I have the 20 mil on right now, so if I do see it, I'll have to change my lens really quickly. <laughs> so we'll see how that works. So right now I'm working on uh, the other shot that I was hoping to get today. We've got some leaves in the water, bright yellow leaves. There's a yellow tree over there and the water's moving a little bit. So hopefully I can do a little bit of a long exposure. So we'll see what we can get. Okay, so one more thing. Um, this is the old tripod that I was talking about the other day, my photo tripod. I've had this tripod for 20 years and I absolutely love it. Yes, it's very old and it's not as nice as my video tripod, but it does exactly what I want it to do. I am so unbelievably used to it. And you can take out the center column to get very, very low. And so that's what I was talking about. The shot that I took the other day is I wasn't low enough. So what I'm going to do now is get low. 
So the sun is just starting to poke up above the trees there. Hopefully we can get a little bit of light on the situation here. We shall see. Um, oh, one other thing too, as well as my, what I call my good tripod, I'm sure most people don't think it's a very good tripod at this point. Uh, I also am wearing hiking shoes. So the other day uh, I couldn't get close enough to my subject because it was in the water. So I didn't want to get a soaker uh, with my running shoes so I just stayed on the side and I that's I think one of the reasons the main reasons why I didn't get a good shot so today I've got my hiking shoes on I've got my good tripod I can actually you know walk into the water a little bit without getting my feet wet so I'm able to get the shot that I want so I guess that just goes to show that you should come prepared even on a scouting mission because you never know what you can what you can get like if there's going to be shots or you know you just never know all right so i think i'm going to get my filter for this shot this is the shot that i was hoping to get so i'm going to take two uh one without the filter to show the reflections because you can see the blue sky and the uh the yellow leaves um and then the second one to uh just get some you know creamy water long exposure uh type shot and then i'll see afterwards which one i like better Okay, so a couple things that I wanted to show you. The first one was the shot and the difference with shooting this image with no filter versus shooting it with a filter. So the good thing about these Hyda filters is that in camera you can turn this wheel and it's kind of like turning the filter on and off. So I have a circular polarizer in there and you can turn the wheel at the top and you can really see a difference. The reflection of the sky is gone. You can slow down your shutter speed a little bit if you look at the histogram. And then the other thing that I wanted to show you was I'm shooting with a two second timer. So normally your camera's on single shooting mode, but I like to go to two second timer. And then when you press the shutter, it waits two seconds before it takes the shot. And the reason why I do that is because I touch the tripod and I move the camera when I press the shutter down. So it just stops everything, gives it a sec, give the, gives the camera two seconds to stop moving. So when you take a long exposure and you focus, say like for example here on the rocks, you know that everything's gonna be tack sharp. I think that's where I'm gonna end today's video. I got the shot that I wanted that I had scouted the other day. I saw the bald eagle again. I didn't get any photos of it. Oh, and by the way, if you're wondering why I didn't get uh, photos of it the other day, it's because I was doing that shot with no filter and then with the filter. So I hadn't taken the shot yet with the filter so I couldn't move my camera. So I had to quickly get the filter on the camera, but by then it was too late. The, the eagle had moved to an area where I couldn't see him well enough. And then he ended up flying away, but that's why I never got a photo of them. But I did end up getting uh, some video of them, so not a complete, you know, total loss. But anyways, all in all, another great morning. Ended up getting the shot that I wanted and then showing you the difference with the filter on versus with the filter off. You can slow your shutter speed down a little bit more so that you can get a little bit more motion blur in the water, which is really nice. And yeah. All in all, a great day. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.